Well, a very good afternoon to you, ladies and gentlemen, if I may have your attention, please, because I'd like to welcome all of you, each and every one of you, here today to what I'm sure will be a very special Compton and Green auction here today at number 15, Fairfield Avenue here in Camberwell. By way of introduction, my name's Adrian Butera, and I'll be here to assist you with your bidding or any questions that you may have regarding this fine property or the documents used here today. Those documents that I refer to, I can say are standard contracts of sale, those that have been jointly published and printed by the Real Estate Institute of Victoria and the Law Institute of Victoria. We use similar contracts to these at all our auctions and these particular ones here have been prepared by the vendor solicitor. I would though like to bring to your attention some special conditions contained herein and those that have been on display which I believe simply will assist you in your bidding and buy here today with absolute confidence and read as follows. Today's auction will be conducted in accordance with the rules and any other additional conditions that will be made available for your inspection before the start of today's auction. The auction rules prohibit me, the auctioneer, from accepting bids or offers on the property after the property has been knocked down to a successful bidder. The vendors do have a reserve price. As the auctioneer, I will indicate bidders upon request. The law prohibits any false bids, prohibits any major disruptions by bidders and prohibits bidders from attempting to prevent others from bidding and provides fines for such conduct. The rules do permit the making of vendor bids. The words I use during today's auction to indicate that I'm making a bid on behalf of the vendor are vendor bid and only I, the auctioneer, can bid on behalf of the vendor. Buyers, the property we sell here today is more particularly described in the tax of titles. Plural, more on that in a moment. Volume number 10848, folio 481, and volume number 4364, folio 671. Together with all of the land, the whole of the land on offer to you here today, known to you and I as number 15 Fairfield Avenue here in Camberwell. Shortly when the property is sold, a 10% deposit shall be required, and this can be paid either by cash or cheque, and settlement we call for is what I'll say a flexible. 60 or 90 days or somewhere in between would be fine. Now also attached and included in today's contract to sale, ladies and gentlemen, is a vendor statement. A document disclosing information from the vendor for you, the buyers here today, commonly referred to as a section 32. Pertinent information in that document there, buyers, is that the zoning is residential one, Vic Roads have no interest in the property and the City of Burundara rates are $3,133. Ladies and gentlemen, before I call for your bidding and ask for your competition here today, can I take a moment of your time to share with you and recommend to you what we offer? Ladies and gentlemen, can I say to you, can I say that today we offer the opportunity to buy a fine property in one of Melbourne's most finest suburbs? The opportunity to buy a period property it is, but no better summed up. No better summed up in the dialogue of community and its creations. See, community and creations is what makes day-to-day -day life, the life that we live. Today we deliver community. Best described in Camberwell, tree-lined streets contribute to the community. The Camberwell Junction and one of the most well-known shopping street shopping st strips in Victoria contribute to the community. The creation stands behind us, buyers. A 1920 style property, a creation built in the Sunnyside Estate on the cusp of the Sunnyside Estate in one of Melbourne's most prestigious suburbs. But it's the creation of the community that we offer to you here today. And you'll contribute to that community, yes you will. The buyer here today will bathe in five bedrooms, three bathrooms. Their kids and if not your kids, kids or family or friends, will enjoy the open space both inside and out. Buys the enchanting backyard and can I suggest enjoyed on a midsummer's night by that pool. Ladies and gentlemen, you will contribute to the community in this magnificent creation. Ladies and gentlemen, is there any good decision that is stopping your buy here today? Do you have any questions? Um, thank you. I, I do. I, I have a friend who I went to bid for, who's travelling from South Africa as we speak, um, and I just found out that there's a special condition 14. Um, I'm not sure whether they comply with that, um, and I'm not too sure what to bid. Uh, what would you suggest? Right, yes, a special condition 14. Goodness, I'd need to check what that one was, ma'am. I can't say I've got it on top of mind. But if they want to bid here today, 
I would say to you that you could bid on their behalf. Do you have an authority to bid on their behalf? Have you had some sort of consent along those lines, ma'am? They've asked you to bid. They've asked you to bid. And do they apply under the foreign investment? They would need to make those separate inquiries, ma'am, I'm sorry. But you're certainly welcome to buy the property yourself, but does it apply? They would have to make those separate inquiries. I can't answer that off the cuff here today. Hope you appreciate that. Are there any further questions? Yes, Perhaps we can keep them local. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, well, I actually, because I walked here and I noticed some runners hanging over the power line. Now, I'm not that party person, but my friend told me that it means that people around here are selling drugs. Now, I have children and this is a huge concern for me, so I want to know if this is a safe area. Have the police been called in to check this out? Ma'am, what, what an interesting question, I must say. It is certainly community in which we sell here today, and there is no doubt about it. And there's many things that contribute to our community. I can't tell you whether they'll... I, I can't give you a definitive answer on that there, because I'm really not up to speed. But I will say this to you. <laughs> but I will say this to you that there are so many other great things about Campbell. Well, let's focus on those and I look forward to your competition here today. Ladies and gentlemen, the opportunity is here and now. The opportunity is here and now. A couple of ways by which you may wish to bid here today. You can raise your hand, call your bid out in a nice clear voice. Or alternatively, I'm happy to give you some assistance should you choose. I don't mind a raise of the hand. I don't mind an the head as long as you make it known to me. Buyers, I will sell subject to the reserve price. If I reach that figure, I will make it known to you and then sell it to the highest bidder here today. So I say to you, here and now, 15 Fairfield Avenue here in Camberwell. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, I put it to you, who'd like to get me started here today? I don't mind the call. You start me off anywhere at all, buyers. Who'd like to get me started? I don't mind the call, buyers. Start me where you will. Your reluctance will only fuel the encouragement for, for me to put in a vendor or bid. If I have to, I will. Prefer to start with you if I can. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll get things started at $1,700,000. I'll be $1,700,000 bids with me. And what do we say from there? $1,700,000. Then I'll take, let's say, a little modest $50,000 in the rise. $1,700,000, sir. $20,000. Will you bid me fifty, sir? You sure? How about 25? 20. 20. Sir, you look like a keen gentleman. I'm going to go with you. 20, the call. Cool. At 1,720,000. At 1,720,000. And let's go 20 in the rise if you like at 1,720. At 1,000,000. Here it is at 40, sir. Coming second now. At 1,740,000. At 1,740,000. Ma'am, in 20s at the moment. Would you bid me 20? You sure? Have a moment to you, sir. 60. 60 if you like, sir. Go on, go with me for six. The persistence of a man with hair like myself. <laughs> sir, I'm going to go with you. But I'm going to extend the courtesy. I hope you don't mind. 60 to call here. 10 on top of you, like, sir. Can I put uh, in well, yes, you may, ma'am. At 70 now. At one million seven hundred seventy thousand. At one million seven hundred seventy thousand dollars. 10 in the rise. I don't mind. I'm a few of you if you like. At one million seven hundred seventy thousand dollars. Bid there. 10 to go. What do we say? Yes, no, or done. Back on top at 80 here. At one million seven hundred eighty. Oh at mummy, seven hundred eighty thousand dollars. You guys need to talk. One million seven hundred eighty bids with you, man. At mummy, seven hundred eighty. One million seven hundred eighty. I'm going to go with that bid there, sir. Let's move forward from there. At mummy, seven seven hundred, sir. Yeah, nine here it is. At one million seven hundred ninety thousand dollars bid the far right. Let's go back to you two if you like. At one million seven hundred ninety thousand dollars. Would you like to make it eight hundred thousand dollars? A moment to talk now. You guys should be talking to each other. At one million seven hundred ninety thousand dollars bid there. Ten to go. What do we say? Yes, no, or done. At one million seven hundred ninety thousand dollars. Yes, you're done. Out finished three times. I call it. I want to sell it if you want to buy it. At one million seven hundred ninety thousand dollars. Sure, done. Out finished three times. It'll be what? At one million seven hundred ninety thousand dollars. You're done. At one million seven hundred ninety thousand dollars. Yes, sir. Go on. I noticed that the second story has been built on top of the, the sewer. What happens if the sewer collapses? Sir, good question. There is consent that that could be done by there. I would say you need to make up, maintain your own property. Uh, as I say, the consent's been given there by Board of Works in '84, so you'll need to go with that judgment there. One million seven hundred ninety. What do we say? Ten on top. Here it is. There. Welcome. Twenty. Ten on top. Are you sure? 
I'm not going to go with you at the moment. I'm going to put a vendor bid at $1,800,000. $1,800,000, sir, ma'am, and I'll ask you both to come on top. What do we say? $1,800,000. Here it is, vendor bid. What do we say? Three times I caught. I'm here to sell. If you're here to buy, what do we say? Yeah. Sir, go on. How about five? Yeah. Are you sure, sir? Round up to 1.81. 1. 8. 1.81, 1, 1.810. 1.810, I won't say no to that. Oh, 1.810 would be $1,810,000. What do we say left and right? We're done and out at 1.800. Go with you, sir, I will at 15 here. At 1.820. At 1.820,000, that'd be $1,820,000, sir. Back on top, what do we say? At 1.830. At 30, the call. At 30, 40. At 1.840. At 1.845, the bid there. There it is out the far right at 45, the call. At 1.845,000, three times I caught. Hold on at 1.845,000, bids there all done. Where is it? I heard it. At 1.845,000, that'd be $1,845,000. First time I call you at 1.845,000, you're done. At 1.845,000, second time I call you, hold on and silence, sir, your bid. At 1.50, even money now. At 1.850,000, back on top of your likes, sir, bid's there at 1.850, you're sure. At 1.850,000, three out, go with you, sir, 52.5. At 1.852,500, at 1.852,500, back on top, sir, don't leave me now, sir. Two and a half? Okay, four and a half the call. Up on me, hundred and fifty four and a half thousand dollars. Bid zero at fifty four and a half thousand. Sir? Half of? Five hundred. Well done, five hundred. I'll give you the five hundred. One million hundred and fifty five the call. Up on me, hundred and fifty five thousand dollars. Back on top, sir. Up on me, hundred and fifty five thousand dollars. You guys have had plenty of time to talk. What do we say? We're going to buy a property here today. Up on me, hundred and fifty five thousand dollars. Bids there three times. I caught. Ladies and gentlemen, would it help anybody just? anybody's decisions if I tell you. We're going to sell the property to you, sir, if there is no better bid. On the market, playing for keep selling to the highest bidder here today. Up one million hundred and fifty five thousand dollars bids there. What do we say? Yes, no, or done. Up one million hundred and fifty five thousand dollars. First time we're calling and clear warning I'll give. Up one million hundred and fifty five five hundred? Fifty five and a half. Up one million hundred and fifty five Fifty six and a half. At one million eight hundred and fifty six and a half thousand dollars back on top of you like it. One million eight hundred and fifty six and a half thousand dollars. Sure, sure. It is your bid, ma'am. At one million eight hundred and fifty six and a half thousand dollars be one million yeah. ma'am, as quick as I can. At one million eight hundred and fifty six and a half thousand dollars. Fifty-six and a half thousand dollars bids there. Three times I call it sell it, I will. At one million eight hundred and fifty six and a half thousand dollars. What? At one million Eight hundred and fifty-six and a half thousand dollars twice. Won't take any late bids now. Help me in at eight hundred and fifty-six and a half thousand dollars, sir. You done from earlier? Thank you for your earlier bidding, sir, ma'am. Are you sure? Done. Out. Finished bids there at one million eight hundred and fifty-six and a half thousand dollars. Sell it. I will no better bid. Help me in eight hundred and fifty-six and a half thousand dollars once. Twice, third and final call, sure and done. I'll be selling, biddies there. I'll be selling, selling, sold to you, sir, ma'am. Congratulations on your purchase. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attendance, thank you for your competitive bidding and congratulations and thank you for attending another successful Compton and Green Auction. Well done.